Hey everybody, Daryl Griffiths here for Jump Cut Online. Um, I hope you've all been very well. Um, it's been a while, and the last time I put anything out, it was, you know, I was not in the best of places, and thankfully I'm feeling a bit more cheery at the moment. Uh, and I want to have a quick shout out to you all who've, you know, I've reached out and in various support um, over the last few weeks. It's greatly appreciated, but. I'm finally going to give this another go, um, and considering it's LGBT History Month, I'm very glad that it is a slice of queer cinema that I'm going to kick off with. It is a film called End of the Century. It's directed by menswear designer turned director Lucio Castro, and it stars Juan Barberini and Ramon Pujol. It is going to be a part of the CineQ Queer Film Festival in Birmingham. It is only the second year... Um, that it's been running. It is run by my dear friend Rico Johnson Sinclair and it will be screening at, it is the closing night film of the festival on Sunday the 29th of March. Tickets are on sale. Um, I'll be sure to include links wherever I can whether it's Facebook and Twitter when I put out this video. Um, but what is Queer of the Set? Queer of the Century? End of the Century. Um, Juan Barberini plays Ocho. In the first 10-15 minutes of the film, it is very muted and we get a sense of the lifestyle that he leads. It's very introverted, he's very distant, um, and it's a classic case of the hookup culture um, that I think much of the uh, gay community can empathise with where we're, you know, on the likes of Grinder and Scruff and so forth and we're looking for some form of connection uh, in a largely heteronormative society where we can't necessarily go through standard means all the time and you know, we're still, in, like in certain cases, it still feels like a case of Oh, this person's gay, this person's gay. Oh, you'll get along, you know, uh, without comprehending that, you know, that we all have different interests like any other person in the world. Um, but Ocho encounters a very handsome chap uh, called Yavi, uh, who is Ramon Pujol's character, uh, on the beach one day. Um, they don't necessarily interact straight away, um, but at the apartment that uh, Ocho has he suddenly sees him from a very high vantage point and basically asks him into his apartment as you do standard behavior um, and they hit it off but it soon becomes apparent within the film that Ocho may have met Javi many years beforehand and it slowly unravels that maybe there is more to this relationship than something that is very casual and you know it's just immediacy and it'll just be throw away by the end of the you know by the time they've had sex basically um so end of the century this really spoke on many levels i think the at surface level deconstructing deconstructing that myth of hookup culture because i think many people just see it as very throw throw away and very immediate and you know instead of like a platonic relationship many people just feel like there's no value to it and i love the fact that end of the century is very frank um and poignant in how it deconstructs that and the conversations that javi and ocho have are in what, the way Lucio Castro captures it is through very lush long takes. It's very in the similar vein to Andrew Hayes' Weekend or Richard Linklater's Bef uh, The Before Trilogy, which, you know, as an avid fan of particularly of the latter, um, this was inevitably going to um, capture my imagination. And it's very telling in how Castro, particularly from Ocho's point of view, how he frames him um, within the film, particularly in the early going, it's from a very, it's very much captured from a distance. You really get a sense of the isolation that he feels as, as he's wandering, meandering through life, and and you know sometimes when you're just sitting in a bed, whether it's in an apartment or a hotel room, there's a sense of connection that you're craving, and this tedium of just looking on apps all the time and you know is this literally it and what is there any value to it but and the fact that it's 
so muted in the beginning as well and the way they're framed, it's, it's, it's very telling in terms of the vantage point and the positions that Ocho and Javi maintain. Um, particularly when Ochi is on the balcony and he's sort of surveying the scene very beautifully. And you see like old couples sort of interacting with each other interacting with each other uh father and a daughter and but he's just sitting from the top and you feel like he needs to bring himself down to that level to let people in and the fact that Javi comes along at the time that he does is very telling um in in his own life and trying to make sense of it really and i think the beautiful thing that castro's film does it particularly in its narrative structure, obviously because it time hops quite a bit. Uh, thankfully, the shifts are very seamless and because um, sometimes it can be, you know, very jarring when you're sort of trying to maintain basically two threads of their relationship. Um, and it very much thrives in the hope and the potential um, of their relationship and, and the details of it because it is quite ambiguous um but i think if it had more clarity to it i think it would be a lesser film i think it really just thrive in um the initial distance that castro um captures much of the action from and then gently draws you in um with as i say with the lush along takes sort of, you know these beautifully uh composition mid shots and then obviously when they're a bit more intimate it's very close up and you really get a sense of the passion and the stifling intimacy that they have between each other and the performances um from Pujol and Barberini the fact that their chemistry is so believable uh, on a superficial level they're just downright handsome there was a lot of this going on when I was watching the film last night um they are just utterly believable and they're just you can tell they're very free-spirited both of them and they really do challenge these um concepts of how we receive love and attention and and particularly uh, talking about open relationships, which is another, you know, hot topic, particularly in gay culture and whether there's any value to it and if there's an itch to be scratched and, with, and the, you know, the boundaries that you've set. Um, it is quite liberal and quite open minded. And again, in a very largely heteronormative society, many people would probably look down on that. Um, but. You know, I have friends who are in open relationships and been together for years and it's worked for them. And and I'm sure many other fellow gay men and women out there who, you know, who are we to judge, you know? If it works for them, then so be it. You know, I think it's, you know, it's the year 2020. You know, we all, we're all human at the end of the day. We know what we, what we warm to and what we, you know, sort of what feels natural to us in a way so and i think end of the century really deals with that beautifully and i think as i say i love the fact that the narrative isn't just some straightforward romance it revels in the positivity which obviously more positive portrayals of gay romance always welcome but the fact that it thrives in the hope and the potential of it and i just found it really compelling um just from a viewer standpoint and i think it is a terrific and beautifully shot um, piece of filmmaking and I think it's a fitting film uh, for Cinecue to close with this year um, on the 29th of March. It's on limited release next Friday here uh, on the 21st of February. I highly recommend it. I'm not sure how many cinemas are going to pick it up, which is a classic case uh, with LGBTQ plus cinema, I'm afraid. Um, but if you can seek it out, I highly recommend. And a shout out to the distributor Peccadillo Pictures. I believe you're celebrating 20 years this year since you were founded. Um, much love to you guys. We're so grateful for all the lgbtq plus cinema that you do provide and getting the word out and just world cinema in general um there's been so many great films over the years that you've put your name to and we're extremely grateful so thank you very much um but do go and check out end of the century when it's out on the 21st of feb um that is a wrap for now um uh, of course jump cut facebook like our page twitter jump cut underscore online the website www.jumpcut online.co.uk you can like you can go to our patreon page and support fellow writers and um, that all the details are on our website with that as well and um, but for now i've been daryl griffiths great to reconnect with you all and i will speak to you later and bye bye for now <laughs>